Okay, now a really cool little stove. Oh, it's not really that little, but it's still really cool. It it's a huge, huge burner. But one thing I noticed about it, it has no built-on igniter. That's all right. Let's see how well this bad boy lights. Ooh. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, and it's got some heat. What we're going to do is boil some water just to see how well this bad boy works. Now, give you an idea, this stove is really sits down. All the heat comes right out of these holes right in here, which I know I'm not feeling too cheap, but trust me, here's some heat. Just so you can appreciate the stove. You're a stealth camper. This is what you want. This bad boy. That's white. And the thing coming off of it. That bad boy is definitely going to keep you in. As you can hear it, it's not a very loud stove. Little thing's not going to stand up quite well. So I roughly put about, oh, I don't know what I put in it. But, got nice insulated handles that lock. In fact, I probably ought to move that. But this is a plastic table, and I'm putting my hands right underneath this thing, and it's not really even generating a whole lot of heat underneath it. Around it. Not bad. In fact, I'll get my heat gun, and we'll uh, test it. Okay, good old um, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Oh, okay. Let's see. In the hole. So 237.9. Side of pots 139. Not bad. 117. Still not bad. And right underneath the stove it says it's getting 124 degrees. 129. So it does get a little warm. 
or 15.3 in the water. So we should be getting a little bit of Oh, is it, um, I guess that's not going to go off. Oh, well. We'll just. Turn 88 on the outside of the skirt. Which really, brief contact don't hurt. Wouldn't suggest doing it, but. Yeah. So, pull again. Uh. 271 degrees even. Case it's curious. That's saying that's too much for it to uh, gather. Yeah. Any bubbles? No, nope, not yet. It's always good to take and uh, give a few little uh, test boils to get any of that chemical stuff off of it. Last thing you want to do is I've seen some people that actually bought stoves and pots and used them without giving any kind of testing. It's always good because you never know. You would hate to take and find out like the inside the of that uh this is this a this is the aluminum ionized uh, pot. The last thing you want to do is have that stuff come off into your food. So we'll see. Oh yeah, there yeah, we got a rolling nice rolling bubble. Oil. And you can see the steam running out of that hole. Oh yeah, we got really going. Woo. There we go. Oh yeah. And that's cooling down. And familiar with Walmart's uh, little oh, the legs actually didn't get too badly hot either. Kettles, you can actually set your kettle right on there and make you some tea or some coffee or something. Just a little idea for you. Nice little stove. Hope you enjoyed it.